This is the third in my series of paper Klein bottle videos. Um, I figured out a way to make them 3D. And to do that, it's nice to have them a little bigger. So this is a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, which as in the other ones, the folding will be almost the same, but not, there'll be some extra creases to allow for the 3D part. So I'll fold in half. Same. It's good to make these creases really well. Really tight. Now we fold the halves in half. Just as for the flat paper coin bottles. This is almost too big really to fit in the field of view I've set up here, but hopefully it'll work out all right. Now, here's where we add some extra creases. We open this out and we fold to the quarter crease on the opposite side, or if you want to think of it that way, the three quarter crease. So we're actually going to get eighths. And then we fold to the near quarter crease to get that eighth. And repeat for the other side. But now it's a little more confusing to find the quarter creases. One has to take care. The clue is that you end up with a new crease instead of folding on own. So we've divided right and a half by 11 sheets of paper into eight segments. Now we continue to fold after the flat version. So these extra creases are the corners, the edges, corner edges, and the ultimate bottle. It's going to be a bottle like a box. Maybe you should call this a paper Klein box. Sneaking through the closed door there. All right. Now, like before, we'll take the neck shut. I erroneously called this the body of the bottle in another video. I think it's better to call it the neck. Try to keep my tape under control. I'm trying to keep the paper under control at the same time. Not easy. Maybe it's just not a good evening for doing this. Yes. Those extra creases are trying to make themselves into a nuisance. Okay, let me just get rid of that extra tape, tucking it inside. And now we need to make the twist creases. And as I explained before, I find it to be much easier to start the crease on a straight edge. This seems to work a whole lot nicer. Oops. Take of that as well as I should have. And on the other side. Okay. Now we 
twist the neck into position. So we have something like a Mobius strip. like this aspect ratio kind of ends up naturally not needing an extra crease. I can just roll it back. Make sure I'm on the line. So this is a slightly different crease pattern from the other ones I've made. I made for three different crease patterns now. Now, I have to carefully insert the neck inside the bottle. Through that go. Mostly. A little bulk problem. But anyway, now we'll tape it shut. Make sure we have I think we can fold all the way up to that where the neck enters. We're going to try that. We need a crease there. And I want nice tight creases, so I'm going to fold it both ways. Now, that's too bulky to do a nice job of that. Now, we need to create a miter sort of arrangement from that corner, which is hard to see, to the fold here. But we don't need to go beyond it. I think it'll look better if we don't. So we'll just end the crease at the corner. And we'll reverse it to make sure it's a good crease. We'll fold both directions. Try to keep it straight. There's one miter. Now we need the one for the other side. Which goes to right there. the creases we need to open this into a three-dimensional Klein bottle. 
Before I do that, though, I need to close up the bottom, attach the mouth to the bottom. side. which if I wait to do it, doesn't follow my scissors so badly. Something strange happened there. Okay, now we'll open it. You kind of have to have sticky fingers because well, maybe not so bad. Can you see how we use those miter folds to make it 3D? And the inside is somewhat conical of a different... to grab just the outside paper without grabbing the inside paper. It helps to push on the crease, I think, to try and separate them. I'm just not going to be able to grab it, it looks like. reach into the bottle. This is the hardest part. geometries of the inside and outside of the bottle don't cooperate very well. You can see that here where it's folding over itself, sort of everting at the bottom. So the bottom's not going to be on a plane unless I doctor it up some. What a wrestling match, huh? It'll look a little better if I can separate these. I think. So, now. 
little rumply. But you can see that there's the neck of the bottle coming down to the bottom of the bottle. And it's a sort of a pyramidal shape somewhat modified by the stresses that are on it, and the outside is more rectangular before the twist. And it has a kind of cool look to it, I think. It'd be nice if I could make these creases come out a little straighter. Anyway, that's a little bit more satisfying of 3D version, I think, of the Klein bottle. See if we can get more views of it. So, I don't know if there's any more to do with just exploring this Klein bottle. Folding, but it turns out it can be 3D.